Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Women's Society of Washington University's November event. I'm Angie Bernardi, and I'm honored to be the president of the Women's Society. Don't worry, I won't be singing. We're a little worried because we have to hold the microphone, so. <laughs> but thank you for taking the time to join us. We're thrilled to see so many of you here in person and also on live stream. Uh, many of you are members of the Women's Society, but for those of you who aren't, I don't want to miss this opportunity to remind you that membership in the Women's Society will allow you to enjoy opportunities throughout the year to gather and attend our lecture series featuring prominent faculty and members of the Washington University community. The Women's Society is an organization that was created to bring the community to the university and the university to the community. We're a group of volunteers of all ages and backgrounds who are interested in supporting the university and appreciate the valuable asset it is to our community. We're proud partners in supporting students and bringing to life Chancellor Martin's vision for Washington University to be in St. Louis and for St. Louis. If you're not already a member, please um, visit our new website. There's a beautiful form there where you can join or renew and our staff will be happy to assist you. The Women's Society also oversees the Bare Necessities Shop, located on the South 40 in the Elmrath House, which you can visit in person or online. And all the proceeds from our membership and our shop benefit the Elizabeth Gray Danforth Scholarship, which we award two full tuition scholarships each year to students who attend our St. Louis Community Colleges. We also support student projects and leadership awards as well. And we're happy this evening to showcase some of our students here in person. Now it's my pleasure to turn things over to Ayixa Martinez, who's the chair of the Education Committee. I'm grateful for her leadership and their committee for their hard work in putting together this amazing lecture series this year. Welcome, Ayixa. I don't think she's gonna sing either. You wouldn't want me singing. Thank you, Angie, and good evening to all of you joining us tonight. I am Aixa Martinez, and it's my pleasure to introduce very special guests, Mosaic Whispers. Founded in 1991 to sing at 13 Carnival, Mosaic Whispers has, over the last 30 years, placed themselves amongst the most well-known collegiate a cappella groups. As the oldest all-gender a cappella group on campus, Mosaic Whispers has featured over 150 unique individual members throughout the years. Known as Whispers, alumni of this group are proud to be a whisper for life. While the membership may change from year to year, the quality of the group has always been strong. Over the years, the group has been featured nationally on MSNBC's Hardball with Chris Matthews, during the 2004 and 2008 vice presidential debates, as well as countless local performances for radio and television broadcasts. They have also traveled the nation, singing in dozens of cities and representing Washington University at the International Championship of Collegiate a cappella Conventions. In 2016, they performed at Broadway's Beacon Theater in the ICAA Finals, and in 2019, were national a cappella convention finalists as well. They secured a first place finish in 2020 in the ICAA Midwest quarterfinals before COVID cut short the competition. Additionally, the group has produced 11 studio albums and one four track EP. Their 11th album, Oasis, received two tracks honored as tracks of the year from the Recorded a Cappella Review Board. You may have also heard them with Ben Foltz on his album, Ben Foltz Presents a University Cappella. They were privileged to perform with Ben Foltz right here at Washington University, as well as join him in Manhattan, Kansas, during a stop in his national tour. 100% of the covers they perform are arrangements written by members of Mosaic Whispers. Truly, they are a bunch of talented students. Positioned as a premier a cappella group on campus, we are so grateful to have Mosaic Whispers join us tonight. Please join me in welcoming the Mosaic Whispers.
Baby, don't make me spell it out for ya. All the feelings that I got for ya. Explain that I can try for ya. Yeah, baby, don't make me spell it out for ya. You keep on asking me the same questions. And second guessing all my intentions. The way I use my compressions. It's like I'm powerful with a little bit of tender and emotional sexual bender. Yes, yeah, I give a no one does it better. There's nothing better. That's just the way you make me feel. That's just the way you make me feel. Uh, so good, so good, so fucking real. That's just the way you make me feel. That's just the way you make me feel. She don't listen to a thing unless it feels right. Only dances if it's Kanye. She could take you on a walk if she feels like you'll be begging her for mercy. Take your name and number, then she'll hit a race and walk away. At my place, at my place, she's got particular taste. She's so obsessed with the chase. She always had my conversation. She is cool for the face. She just goes, she's so particular. That's just the way that I feel now, baby. She's so particular. Thank you all so much for having us. My name's Will. Uh, I am the group coordinator for Mosaic Whispers, and we could not be happier uh, to be performing for you all tonight. Um, just as a side note, which was not in our lovely introduction, um, we have a concert this Saturday in Risa Commons, so if you're interested in hearing us again, feel free to come to that, invite friends. Um, it's a really lovely time. It's open to everybody. Um, yeah, let's carry on with the, with the show. Thank you again so much for having us. We met on a rainy evening in the summertime. Don't think I need to tell you. I needed a rain so it's so hard for us to love the mountain. 
When I'm furthest from myself Feeling closer to the stars I've been invaded by the dark Trying to recognize myself But I feel I've been replaced When I'm furthest from myself Feeling closer to the stars I've been invaded by the dark Trying to recognize myself when I feel I've been replaced. I can feel the kick down in my soul, and it's pulled me back to earth to let me go. I am not a slave, can't be contained, so take me from the dark and pull me from the grave. I still feel alive. Who is it? I don't know. So when I lose my gravity Drifting as I dream I'll wake up soon To realize the hand of life Is reaching now To rid me of my pride Call allegiance to myself I can feel a kick down in my soul And it's pulled me back to earth To let me go I am not a slave Can't be contained So take me from the dark To let me know And this heart that beats inside of me Will show It'll show Floating in outer space Have I misplaced a part of my soul Lost in the in-between Or so it seems I'm out of control Floating in outer space Have I misplaced a part of my soul Lost in the in-between But I can't keep me asleep for long I still feel alive I still feel I don't know
you never were, and nothing like I thought you could have been, but still you live inside of me, so tell me how is that, you're the only one I wish I could forget, the only one I love not to forgive, and though you break my heart, you're the only one, and though there are times when I hate you, cause I can't erase the times that you hurt on my face and over oh, now while I hate you and it pains me to say I know I'll be there at the end of the day I don't want to be without you baby I don't want a broken heart don't want to take a breath without you baby I don't want to play that part I know that I love you but let me just say I don't want to love you in no kind of way. No, no. I don't want a broken heart. I don't want to play the broken hearted girl. No, no. I'm no broken hearted girl. you would never come around, but still I want to put this out. You say you got the most respect for me, but sometimes I feel you're not deserved of me. And though you break my heart, you're the only one. And yes, there are times when I hate you, but I don't complain, cause I've been afraid that you would walk.
never seems enough for you. You don't wanna lose it again. I'm not like them. Maybe when you finally love somebody again, it's gonna be me. Bow wow. You've got no choice, babe, but to move on. And you know there ain't no time to waste. There ain't no time to waste. You're too blind to see. In the end, you know it's gonna be me. You can't deny. So just tell me why. Every little thing I do. Gonna It's gonna be me All that I do is not enough for you Don't wanna lose it But I'm not going to And when finally You get to know somebody Guess what It's gonna be me
Think about you all the time. I think about you all the time. I think about you all the time, and then I wonder, do I? I think about you all the time, and then I wonder, do I feel your mind the way I feel your body, or you're just another? I wonder if we really. I wonder if we really. I wonder if we really could be more than men of lovers Undercovers thinking more than single-minded empty vessels But what you can't see because it's so ingrained in your brain, you can't separate it. No. A couple of pieces when I 
carried it, carried it, carried it home. Hmm, I'm afraid of all I am. My feels like a fallen man. Silence me.
your voice anymore. All right, perfect. We're going to take a little break here for um, some questions. If anybody has any questions about the group, you can raise your hand, and one of us will hopefully have an answer for you. Yes. Oh, that's All right, right. Uh, let's just go down the line over here. Majors. I'm studying computer science and business. Actually, Say your name as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Let's do names and majors in a year. Okay. And use My a mic. Perfect. My name is Vito. I'm a junior, and I am a base studying computer science and business here at WashU. Hello, everyone. I'm Henry. I'm a junior. I am a tenor in the group, and I am doing computer science as well. Hi, my name is Eli. I'm a tenor, base, and the VP for the group. I'm also a junior, and I'm a mechanical engineer with a minor in computer science. Mm. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm an alto. I'm also a junior. I'm doing applied math and computer science with a minor in African and African American studies. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a freshman, so I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm minoring in computer science. <laughs> I'm Cameron. I'm a sophomore. I sing tenor in the group. Not, also not sure what I'm studying, but something in business. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm a senior. I sing alto. Oh, wouldn't you know what? I study computer science. I have a minor in music, though, so. Uh, I'm Mateo. I'm a sophomore. I sing tenor, and I study American culture studies in art side. I'm Melissa. I'm a senior soprano, and I study global health and environment with a minor in writing. Hi, I'm Noah. I am a senior. I sing tenor and bass. Um, and surprise, surprise, I also, I also study computer science and minor in music. Hi, I'm Monty. My voice is gone, sorry. My, I'm a junior, um, and I'm majoring in computational biology with a minor in human-computer interaction. So almost computer science, but not really. Uh, and I'm Will. I'm a senior. I sing tenor, and I do vocal percussion for the group. Um, and I major in economics, and I have a minor in political science. I forget how many people are computer science up here. <laughs> um, yes? So what's your process for choosing a song? Uh, yeah, so all of the songs that we perform have been arranged by someone in the group. Um, so really, it just starts at someone listening to a song and being like, oh wait, that would sound really cool if it was an acapella song. And then um, they start arranging it. Um, I, I'm one of the, of the co-directors of the group, so they'll work closely with me and our other director. Um, and we start arranging the piece from scratch all the way to a, a finished piece with revisions and changes. Um, and then we introduce it to the group, uh, learn it step by step, and then you see it uh, here now on stage. So it's really all homegrown, which is really cool. So. <laughs> uh, sadly, we are at all we are entirely undergraduates, but but we do love when people sing with us and enjoy the concerts. So, but you know, if you if you want to check out our website where you would sign up and all the lovely things there, mosaicwhispers.wustel.edu. It's a lovely place. Oh. Spend some time on the internet. Yes. What is the process of trying out and? Um... Do you always limit yourselves to this many people, or? Yeah, so right now, this is, a, this is most of our group. Um, we're missing, I think, three people right now. Um, but we are a group that competes uh, at, at ICCAs, um, and they have a limit of 18 people per group. So there are plenty of other acapella groups on campus. Some of them compete, some of them don't. So some of them will have bigger groups, you know, like doing Disney music or like movie music or whatever. Um, we try to limit ourselves to roughly 18 or less, like probably somewhere like 15 to 18 range. Um, so that means like roughly we're taking classes of like four every year, give or take. Um, and in terms of the audition process, um, there's kind of an organized audition process at the beginning of the year uh, where all undergraduates kind of come in, um, audition scoops. Do you want to say something? Yeah, so um, here at WashU, there is an acapella governing body, because that's how many people do acapella. It's called ACAC, -AC, um, the Acapella Advisory Council, and they set up auditions every year. So we come uh, into the school year 
and uh, it's like the first week that Labor Day weekend. Every group will every group on campus is holding auditions Saturday and Sunday, and then there's a, a callback process on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It is hectic, but it is wonderful because there's like all these new people coming into this room and singing. Um, Washu is really an amazing music community here, um, and yeah, it's just like that week whirlwind. We hear so many voices, and then we have to narrow it down. Um, yeah. And so people will, like, people who audition for us submit what types of groups they might want to be in. We say, like, who we might be interested in joining the group, and then we all match up and talk to every other a cappella group and find out who's going where um, in one of the most hectic nights of the year. Yeah, um, and, and we get around anywhere from 60 to 100 auditionees every year. Um, and then we cut that down to about 20 for callback. So we're basically stuck in a room for 24, well, for 48 hours, uh, just like doing audition after audition, but it's a lot of fun, so. Yes. <laughs> how often and for how many hours do you rehearse every week? Um, so we rehearse uh, three times a week for a total of seven hours. So we have two, two and a half hour rehearsals and one two hour rehearsal. Um, Sadly, uh, well, something that's great about this group is we work around everyone's schedule, so everyone's at every rehearsal. Sadly, sometimes that means we're rehearsing from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., which is not ideal, but um, I think everyone would agree that it's like worth making the time to be in this group. Um, yeah. Any more questions? If not, I think we have one more song for you all. Again, thank you so much for having us here tonight. This was really so wonderful. Just keep breathing. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I think what an amazing group of students. And I asked the question what their majors were because at Washington University, we have such a depth of talent. And I'm always amazed to see all the things that they're doing, all those computer scientists, a cappella singers. Um, I have a son who's a computer science major, but he does not sing like that. But I just want to tell you, before we depart today, I want to invite you to our next lecture. And we're very excited to feature Mimi Coulter. She's the vice provost and university librarian who will present a talk entitled, The Library of the Future is Already Here. And I know this will be a fun and informative morning. It'll be December 7th at 10 a.m. And it'll be in person and live stream if you'd like to join us. And you can register with the email you received or stop by the registration table and let them know your email address. Also, I want to let you know that there is a bear pub next door in the Knight Center, which you may not know that the business school has its own pub. So some of us will be heading down there if you'd like to stop in for a drink or a bite to eat or just look at it. It's um, an old English pub. So thank you again for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. And I know they're still here. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs>